The following segment is sponsored by Kengarth Automotive. Welcome to Fresh Off The Set. I'm Ken Carrie Hawker-Diaz. And I'm Brooke Mangum. Thank you so much for joining us for another exciting episode today. We're going to have some fun today, Carrie. We're going to have some fun. Okay, I have a question for you. Instagram, when did you first open your account? I am a grandmother of Instagram. I actually looked it up because I was curious when Instagram started, and it's October 6th. 2010, so and I think I started mine the make, like 2010, the like January. So I was like brand, is, brand new, like OG. What about you? I think it was right around then. It might have been early 2011, so maybe right after that. But we are the, are we Instagrammers? Yes. yes. Grandmothers? So Instagrammers? Instagram or grandmothers. <laughs> like I remember the days when you would use the filters that were in the app. Balenciaga made you look tan, XO Pro or whatever it was. Nobody knows anymore, but this this was it. There wasn't even stories or Reels, yeah, it was just a picture and you posted it. And that's what it was about. Uh, I mean, algorithm, that wasn't even, we didn't even winter, know what that meant. No, and it was no business really aspect of it. When I remember starting my Instagram. There was no, I even the, the idea of making money off of being a social influencer, in that wasn't even a thing. So it was, you posted pictures of your dinner or whatever you were doing and that was it. And they were bad pictures. Oh, my photo quality, if I look back, it's crazy to see where cameras have gone and like just everything has changed. Like everything's blurry and the beginning right, so ones and I leave picture. them because general, I'm purist Carrie we I am too we're purists that's right I left mine I wanted to go back to my to first post but I think I'm pretty sure I took a picture of my TV uh, yeah that's, that sounds about right <laughs> I think I had a dog like, or something was mine but you know what that's that's what we did and it's changed so much so now it's all about algorithms real stories and I how do you feel about it how do you feel about where it's shifted to it's just a totally different world now because you can actually monetize you can have make it a business there's people that are making doing big business on Instagram and TikTok and And I'm like the worst I I wouldn't even call myself an influencer I'm the worst social media influencer if you can even call me that because I don't even like I don't even do it anymore I'm so like yeah this is my kid and my dog again you know I wish I could go back to that in a way too when it was about the picture it was about um you know you were worried about okay how many how many likes is this gonna get how many followers am I gonna gain because of this I really wish it went back to just and I do like Instagram correct? because of the pictures, just a picture. But there's the so group. much to be gained uh, from this. And that's what's so exciting about our guest today store, is that we're really diving into that kind of business so aspect of it and how you can make money on Instagram, how you can be a part of this algorithm and how you can really monetize uh, yeah. and, and still have fun so while doing it. Because that's the whole point of social that. media, so right? Yeah, to have fun, to bring good into the world, to spread kindness, which is still possible and people are still doing it. So that's a good thing. And Alora interviewed Maya and Nicole She's an Instagram expert and business coach. She's talking about the creators and what they can expect for 2023 and how you can best grow your account. Should we just give it a listen? Let's do it. Do you think she can teach some old ladies some new tricks? Help us. (laughs) 